everybody, it's your girl T from Adventures of Spirits, and today it is Saturday in the ATL, and I am at the Atlanta Bourbon Festival, and um, I will actually be here all day long. I plan to take my time. I plan to sip on some good bourbons, especially those that I haven't tried before, to see what I can add to my bar, and to let you all know if it's even worth any of it. Um, I'm supposed to be joined by um, a friend this morning and then saying happy birthday sharing the afternoon session with my sister this afternoon so she'll be here as well so um, enjoy watch and see if there's any bourbon scotches or whiskeys that you would think or be entertained to add to your bar Let's have a toast for the into the VIP area which means I get to get here earlier um, about an hour early than everyone else and they had like a nice list of um, actually a, quite a few bourbons that I have not tasted or scotches at all and um, let's see what they taste like. hello hello how are you all right in one minute I'm trying to see what you got oh you got shanks oh Y'all got the good stuff. Which one you feel is the best from your table? What's your opinion? I, I know what some of them are, but what's your opinion? So the Hill Rock has been moving pretty good. The 22 as well. And then you can never go wrong with straight bourbon. Oh yeah, <laughs> most definitely. I'm surprised Shanks wasn't on your list. Shanks is right here. Oh, I, I haven't had this though. I've no? had the Hill Rock, right, I've had the Hill Rock. I've had the 22 and I've tried the straight bourbon. I haven't, I haven't ever had the Shanks before. Okay, okay, well guess what? I'm gonna try a lit, a, a lit, not even a whole one of them cup, just a, a, a sip of each one of them. So the See which ones are added. Let's start with the, let's start over here with the 2XO. So my first one of the, of the event um, in the VIP area where we get in a little early and we get to try some of the selection um, that's not necessarily or may not be available to the rest of the population. So my first one is 2XO. Um, it's a blend actually. Uh, Kentucky Stray Bourbon, so let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that's smooth. That's smooth. So now I get to try the shanks. Yes, get to try shanks now. All right, Reaper, you got me tasting the shanks. I'm gonna see if it's living up to the hype that you made. No, you, I said I hadn't had that one before. You tell me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's some good stuff, as Reaper would say. So now I'm on Old Elk. Uh, 
1971, so. Pretty good. Try the shanks. Oops, pretty good. So far, my favorite is still shanks between the first three. This one is High Wicked. High Wicked. already because I can tell you these little bits and I told her not even to fill them up this is gonna be good now there's two sweetened cove sweetens cove is actually the name of it this one is Sweetens Cove 22, um, and the other one is just a regular Sweetens Cove, Tennessee, actually. So, hmm. let's try the 22 and see which one is better out of the two. So this one is Sweet Tim's Cold Tennessee. It's very bland to the nose. Um, it's funny because the Sweet Tim's Cold 22 has a lot of, it's a lot of flavor. There's a lot in the bouquet, but um, in the flavor as well. But this one is not the 22, it's the Tennessee. So, the bouquet is very bland, so I'm gonna see if the actual uh, taste is matches with the palate. I mean, the bouquet. Very bland. Not anything I would put on the bar. So this is Hill Rock. Never seen Hill Rock. I'm not sure if I ever heard of it, but um, the bouquet is also a little bland. So let's see what it tastes like. up the details of Hill Rock to actually see what it's actually made of or how it's made because it's giving off more of a scotch instead of a bourbon or maybe like a bourbon with the you know with some of the scotch type flavor to it I don't know it's very it's very peaty actually so right now I'm looking for let me see the belly of them it's called the top dog and it's a bourbon and uh you can put them down let's see look at this cute bottle y'all look at this cute bottle here looks like a dog well let's see if this dog has a bark okay top dog let's see what you got oh now this top dog smells like it's giving off tequila It's very short. I can't even tell you what it tastes like because it went in and it just disappeared. I, 
I can't tell you what it tastes like. It goes in, it's very quick. It still gives me a tequila vibe and it's supposed to be bourbon. Very strange. Definitely gotta look this one up. Top dog. I guess the bot you know what they say, if the bottle is extravagant, then you know the juice in it may not be worth it. So. As soon as you put it in, I taste the kill. Just gonna be honest, I just taste the kill. So I'm not sure if I got a picture of this bottle, but I will put it on the screen. But it is a 21 Martini Martinis Espresso. As you can see, it's more of like a, a chocolate liqueur. Gives off an espresso, coffee flavor. Really think my sister would like this. She's a coffee fanatic, so. Um, I'm not really into coffee, but I don't mind it if it's in a drink as long as it I don't taste too much of it, but let's see what it tastes like. Not too bad. Very easy drinking, probably very easy to put in someone's coffee and get through their day, you know, if they're having a stroke. Doing good, doing good. Oh, you have some, you have some that I have tasted before, and you have some that I have not. So we're gonna focus on the ones I have not. Uh, no, I will. So I see you got Virginia Distillery. Don't fill that cup up all the way, cause I'm gonna taste multiple. I'm trying. I'll be here all day. <laughs> you can just sit it there. I'll get it in a minute. Oh, you all. They have the Mitches, the toasted barrel. I was hoping to see the uh, 10 year, but they don't have that, but that's fine. Let me try the Mitchers. Um, I have the double oaked already. Um, Roaming Man. Definitely got to try Roaming Man. This one? Yep. And I've done all of my pigs. I love the pigs. They have the six and they got the 10. Um, but I also want to try the Vinny Rack. Yes. Hi, guys. So this first one here. Your distillery company. It is a brewer's batch. It's a brewer's batch. So let's see here. There's really not much to the nose. So let's see. That's a very peaty. It is a scotch. Um, this, the first one is a scotch. Um, she has scotches and bourbons at this table. Um, so the first one is brew. It's actually pretty good. It sort of reminds me of a um, a monkey shoulder, I guess, because it's a blend. Um, definitely something more like a, a monkey shoulder. I'm curious to know what the price bracket is, though. Um, curious to know what the price bracket is to see if it's worth getting this versus the monkey shoulder, but it reminds me of the same. So. Let's try the Mitchers. So this is the Mitchers Toasted Barrel. So we'll see what that uh, tastes like. I have not tried Mitchers yet. I've been trying to get it. In one of my previous videos, uh, Hubby and I was in the Bahamas and I just knew they had all of them listed. And I just knew I was gonna get a, a tasting flight of Mitchers. Everything from the regular all the way up uh, until the highest one. And I can tell you I was very disappointed. They only had one out of all six of them. So I actually get to taste the toasted barrel this time. So the bouquets are pretty are pretty much the same in terms of smell and taste. Very smooth. Definitely something to keep on the bar. It's toasted Barrel, I'm still curious about tasting the other five um, to see which one, two, or three that I'll keep on my bar. So, pretty good, pretty good. So this is Roaming Man. This is a, a Tennessee uh, straight uh, Kentucky bourbon uh, straight whiskey. Um, never heard of it, but I'm willing to taste it. Let's see. Uh, ben React. 
Benriac. Um, it is a single malt scotch whiskey. Um, so curious to see what it tastes like. So see if it has as much peat as the uh, Virginia distillery. That's much more smoother than the other one. I have the PD on there. I think it's much more smoother. So if I had to choose between the Ben React, the Virginia Distillery, and Monkey Shoulder, uh, in terms of smoothness, it would definitely be a smoothness. Uh, it would definitely be Ben React. So, so far I've been to two tables and my favorite from these tables are Ben React.
this line of Basil Hayden, Field of Dreams, uh, Station, Redwood Empire, New Realm, Duke, Garrison Brothers, 114, 15th crew, and 100 and...
you all been talking about it. I got to get it. it that, for that proof to be so high, it's extremely smooth to me. Ooh, they got rabbit hole, y'all. All right. Got the bourbon whiskey, Kentucky straight rye. Uh -huh. This is straight bourbon. So this one is a mixture of rye and corn and malt. Okay. A triple malt that one. Okay. And this is 95 percent rye. And that's the sour mash. Malt. Got you. Let me try your Queen of Hearts. Simple syrup, blackberry liqueur, pomegranate juice, and lemon juice. Very easy. Delicious. Well, I decided to sit down for a minute uh, and wait for my buddy Erica to get here. Um, figured this was around, even though I ate before I came, I figured it was a good time to sit down, you know, along with the cocktail I just got and um, have something to eat. Um, so then that way I can be recharged for the rest of the day. My sister will be here a little later. So um, as you saw in my meal, I got some mac and cheese, collard greens, and barbecue chicken. I just tasted the mac and cheese. It's all right, it tastes like um, Velveeta though. This ain't grandma mac and cheese. Or your favorite auntie that made that mac and cheese, this ain't it. This not it, but, but, it's not bad for, it hit the spot, you know. Um, now I'm gonna taste the collard greens. They ain't had no hot sauce. And you know, folk, sometimes if they don't season it right, then you gotta put a hot sauce on to make it do something. So let me see what these collard greens taste like. They just taste salty. Not good. The chicken looks tender. I see what that tastes like. Let me see. Just chasing to see if the if it was worth it. Worth to get. I know it was included with my VIP ticket. Hmm. Okay. Again, the chicken don't have much flavor. Chicken doesn't have much flavor, but the sauce does, so it makes it a little better. But anyway. This is my first time coming to Atlanta Bourbon Festival. There's so many variations of festivals here in Atlanta. So, you know, a lot of times it's best to just try them all out. Sometimes they have the Atlanta bourbon and barbecue. Sometimes they have the Atlanta pork and wine. Sometimes they have Atlanta whiskey, Atlanta wine and whiskey, Atlanta wine and bourbon. They have all kinds of festivals. But I can say that this one has a lot, a lot of selections. A lot of selections, the way they have it laid out. You have a crowd, but it's not crowded. Um, there's a VIP section, you come in, you come in the front entrance, and they had a lot of, more of the, um, I guess what they consider the higher premium bourbons um, for those people to try out when they first come in. Um, and then the rest of the way, there's a pretty of more there's a lot of bourbon here, even if you didn't get into the VIP section. But I can tell you, I tried all of them in the VIP section. Some of them were good. Some of them I wouldn't necessarily put on my bar. But 
I got a chance to at least uh, try out some key ones that I've been trying to taste. There's still quite a bit more. But I can say their setup is very nice. If you've never been, if you're ever in Atlanta, keep, a, keep tabs on it. Google it. Atlanta Bourbon Festival, put on your notifications. Um, I do believe that they have them more than just once a year and in more than in one location. So keep tabs of it. Drinks are good. The crowd is good. Um, it's a sexy crowd. Everything is casual, but people still keeping it to sexy, which is what I like about Atlanta. You know, I came with my uh, Jack Daniels gear today because I came to, you know, create some content in addition to trying some. So I came on a mission today, not necessarily to come and look too cute, but um, I'm enjoying myself. So um, I still got the rest of the day to go, enjoying my sister's birthday. So hang on out with me. straight rye, I can't tell you what it is, but it was aged eight years. Okay. So try that. You haven't tried the four yet? I've tried it, but I don't like it. You don't like it? Mm -hmm. Why you don't like it? Is it just not as smooth? It's not as smooth. Okay. It's a little stronger for my taste. Okay. Uh, but you might like it. This is very good. Okay. You can try the four. If you the want. small batch is actually Illinois. And it's Illinois. 
That's Illinois. I wonder if they have the distillery in New Orleans because we, I will be there for, for um, Thanksgiving next week. He said Illinois, I think. Let me check. Okay. Thank you so much. This one is Old Forester. Um, and that one, which Old Forester is that? Is that just the Kentucky Old Forester is Kentucky Straight. Okay. Uh, she said Kentucky both of those were Illinois. The few. Not, not real Ooh, the smell on that is real good, y'all. What you drinking? The old forest. I like this is good. I think I like that one. Uh, Definitely something to put on the bar. Same thing with Cooper. Now I've heard of Cooper's 13. I'm gonna have to find that. Which means Cooper's 13 is better than the Cooper's that I just tasted. Definitely gotta get that. Did you taste the few? Which one is that one? I'm finishing the Ezra. Oh, you finishing the Ezra? You like the Ezra? I like the Ezra. The Ezra is very good. I'm about to taste this few, and this is this few is a just a bourbon. It's a little different on the nose. Which one? This is the lighter one. That's the. Um, this is few. This was Cooper. That oh, you're just now hitting Cooper. Just now hitting. Oh. Okay, I'm on few, and then that's my Ezra. Oh, the Ezra is good. Are you, are you trying? I feel bad because I don't know if I like the Cooper. I'm not feeling the few. It, it, I mean, it's probably good for a mix, too, but it's light. Okay, now this Ezra smells a little sweet, which is probably why she likes it. I like it. So let, let, me, let me see what it tastes like. Amateur and I'm okay. <laughs> you like the Ezra? I do. <laughs> oh my god. It's light, it's too lighter for you. I don't know. I, I mean, like it. it just I mean the hit is is to me it's super smooth. And now does it it's super light. Okay, but that, it's for that or I got my cups mixed. I don't you know. might have your cups mixed. Because yeah, I don't think she gave you Ezra. I think no, she, she gave did. you she gave me all four. Okay, she gave you all four. Uh, I don't know, but I do like I like the Ezra. We might have to see if she'll give us another Ezra so we can test that theory. Okay, let's see. Did she okay, give you so Ezra? I had her give me an Ezra just in case mine was mixed. Okay. And see if I actually like this. Okay, I must have had mine mixed up. So basically, the few was the Ezra on my last one. So I think that's what it was. I think um, she poured me the Ezra and I got it mixed up with the other, sorry, with the other three that I had. That is pretty smooth. It that is. is a good sipping. It's oh, a yeah, good bourbon. sipping bourbon. Ezra. I can do that neat and I don't do bourbon neat. Okay. That's okay. very nice. Yep. Got another winner. What'd you say, winner what? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> there we go. So session one had ended for the bourbon festival and there was an intermission until the next session began. And so therefore, since I didn't feel like leaving out and coming back in since I had tickets for the second session as well, um, I just decided to sit down since I was dressed in my Jack Daniels uh, t-shirt and cap and I guess they thought I was part of the staff and they didn't ask me to leave. So. I sat down and I stayed there next to the Coca-Cola booth, um, Erica and I, and we mind our business until it was time for the next session. However, as you can see, we were able to take some videos, um, and I did also take a few pictures of what the event facility looked like without as many people in there. 
Um, they did actually did a very good job at the staging and the setup of this event. I would definitely come again.
good time at the Atlanta Bourbon Festival. It was a very full day. Um, I had family come here celebrating their milestones. My sister's birthday, had my friend Erica come, and uh, just met some good people. So I'm um, just gonna close out to say thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're in Atlanta, the Atlanta Bourbon Festival, I don't know how many times they do it, but I'm going to at least say once a year in the fall, sometime in November. Uh, but if it's, um, if you want to follow them, I'll include the link in my description um, so you can see when they are actually going to be here. But um, I can say enjoyed myself, my family enjoyed themselves, we had fun and meeting new people, drinking new drinks. We are done, it is actually 9-12, this actual event ended at 9 o'clock, uh, of course we had hubby picking us up, so because we were lit, of course I am lit, but I'm holding still right now. Uh, <laughs> so. Just want to close out. If you like this content, please hit the like button. And if you want more videos such as this, hit the subscribe button. So, yes, there goes my, there go my knees. Here we go. Uh, subscribe. Go. Happy birthday, sis. <laughs> so, if you enjoy content, just hit the subscribe button so you can get notifications for more videos such as this. Just don't forget, I do do. Tuesday libations on Tuesdays so subscribe so you can hit notifications for that I will see you later see you next week